So it is a Sunday morning and we are tending our little farm and I quickly want to show you some things. So this is our little sheep herd. For the last week or so we've been keeping them curled up to give the felt a little bit of time to rest and so we've been cutting grass for them um, in a development, township development that's happening close by where they are putting in the roads and so on. And so if we don't cut the grass, there's going to go to waste. And then I wanted to answer some questions that I got on my videos. So one from Imo Boehm was, what kinds of pipes do we use? And what do we do with lime buildup? So here you can see it's a dripper. But in there you can see that we have lime buildup. So we haven't gotten to it yet, but um, Namibia's got a big problem with lime buildup in pipes. Um, so your kettles and your geysers and everything, especially if there's a temperature difference or, or if there's small holes like shower heads, that's uh, the things that get big problems. So we'll have to put in a system to take the lime out of the water. And so once a year we have to replace our dripper pipes. Then I think it was also Imo that maybe asked why in the dry area do we put do we have raised beds in, in other words why do we plant there instead of planting there or there you see this is a little bit lower now the idea was basically um, that the water runs in through that gate fills up this little swell here runs around comes fills up that little swell and all the way down so then the beds becomes the pathways then becomes like little swales now this hasn't worked exactly the way it, we want it to um, but we have added so much organic materials that the beds are now becoming more and more level and so we decided to leave it like that one of the other questions that we often get is what happened to the um, just want to show you a little onions there what happens to the other projects in the townships now one of them is Matthias that was the very first one I gave him worms we started with his um, toilet and um, we dug a rain pit swale for him planted some trees and so on so what happened is Matthias was one of my was my mechanic um, we have a little tool rental business where we rent out construction equipment and so he accepted another job at the um, Cheetah Conservation Farm which I'm very glad for him um, he got paid a, quite a lot better than I could pay him and so I'm very very happy that he got the job but um, what happened is a couple of weekends after he left and so on we continued on his land we continued whenever he's at home I would take the pickup we would go through town pick up mulch take it there but then one day when we arrived there his wife um, decided that the mulch is a problem and she burned everything cleaned everything and so there's not one drop of mulch left on that yard now the trees are still alive as she's watering the trees but the concept of mulch is um, completely foreign she 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 explained to Matthias what mulch is the first time we brought mulch eh? and sorry we've got a little bit of flies here um, the temperature is heating up and so there's some flies um, she explained to Matthias what the purpose of mulch is but the cultural thing of mulch equals dirt sorry the cultural idea of mulch equals dirt is so strong in that area that she keeps on burning the mulch and cleaning it away even though she gives us permission to bring mulch next time when we arrive it's gone so I said to Matthias only when he moves back and he can protect what we are building um, I can continue there um, with Christy he was a young guy that started working for us um, he didn't get along with the other workers and so we had to let him go he then found a um, very good job in Vintuk, also moved away. His mother also took the mulch away, um, filled up the pit that we made for her, 
and so that basically went dead there is a couple of trees still alive there his mother's got some or oh, quite a quite a strong feeling on planting except for mulch um, so she's keeping the trees alive which is great and then um, with Emmanuel Emmanuel is now our latest project Emmanuel his project is going quite well unfortunately I don't have any footage but we build a water system for him and we should maybe walk with you through the farm while I'm talking to you it might be a bit more interesting so for the last couple of days we've been sleeping here my mother-in-law went to uh, go to the south and my father-in-law is there and so um, Emmanuel asked us just to wait a little bit before we go and take footage there but his system is going well as far as I believe he still works for us daily or for my mother-in-law daily and uh, that I think will make a big impact on how he treats everything since he sees daily what we do so these are just some vegetables that we planted in the papaya patch uh, that big green things that you see there that's my hungu. I planted it as a cover um, and then there is still some papayas alive yeah and there is some carrots the papaya the um, winter killed most of the papayas which was a very very sad day for us but everything else is doing well um, yeah, so that's basically what's happening in the townships two of them is on hold the trees will grow and so I'm trying not to step on vegetables and then the other one is starting off now and I believe that it will go very strong I hope that Emmanuel stays with us um, he's a gardener he hasn't got any um, other plans as far as I know his wife and child is here I don't think he's going to move away soon and uh, hopefully with him being on the farm constantly he will keep on doing our plan and improving permaculture so we can have one solid setup in the township from which we can then spread um, I think this time I'm going to focus more energy on him and less energy on building around him um, but that's just the idea so this is the worm pile new fresh manure there's a constant constant turning of worms through here um, we we make tons and tons and tons of compost on this little heap so it's just a black tarp to protect from the termites and then we added some red wigglers and we make compost here yeah. I think uh, that's basically the update for today um, what is going to change in our life soon is my father-in-law got a fantastic work down in the south and so they will most likely be moving away within the next couple of months he's already living there my grand my, my mother-in-law went to visit him now so that will t allow us to move into this house now we've been staying here now for a week um, and so we'll be on the farm every day constantly we'll drive into work in town but we'll wake up on the farm and go to sleep on the farm and that will drastically drastically improve the amount of time that we have doing the things here that's it have a wonderful day